The Oscars, of course, are all about the movies, though. Winners will be chosen in 24 categories. Well, well he's not a voting member of the Academy yet, but <laughs> no one loves movies and pop culture more than our anchor, Brady Mallory. You've seen most of the nominees for yeah, Best yeah, Picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get some predictions from you. Who, what do you think is going to be the best picture? I think everything, everywhere, all at once will take the gold this year. A, a lot of people love that movie. It had a huge momentum at the um, SAG Awards and the Independent Spirit Awards. It, the only awards it didn't win were the ones it wasn't nominated for at those. Really? And it's a delightful movie. Have you two seen it? I, was, I, I did, and I didn't understand the, <laughs> the frame of it. It's, uh, I thought it, it was trying too hard. It, it's very complicated, but at the end, I think it has a really sweet lesson. Yeah, the ending is nice, yeah. but it's just a, I have to watch it again. <laughs> All, All right. right, how about Best Actor? Oh, gosh, this is a tough one. I do think Michelle Yeoh will win She everything, everywhere, all at once. I think she will win. She had a lot of momentum as well. But then there's Kate Blanchett and Tar. Now, she was really good, and who doesn't want to watch Kate Blanchett for three hours just speaking with gravitas and directing and, and the music in that was spectacular yeah, yeah. and i was re-watching that last night um she is phenomenal i would like to see her win an oscar for that role she should but i think michelle yo uh, also gave a tremendous support uh, performance all right um and I'm, I'm decked out in my Oscar outfit. I was going to say, yeah. can I show you to your table? Am I, <laughs> I'm wearing my Nicole Kidman AMC shirt because in that ad, she invented cinema. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There go. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. <laughs> All uh, right, how about Best Actor? Uh, that's another one that's kind of tough right now because everyone is talking about Brendan Fraser in The Whale. Um, I didn't care for that movie, um, but people love that actor, they love seeing a comeback story. Austin Butler, however, in Elvis, he won the BAFTA, and he was the favorite early on in award season. So and you loved him in that yeah, movie. Yeah, Colin Firth is also nominated, right? Uh, he w I would love to see Colin uh, Farrell win for Banshees of Inna Sharon. He was delightful in that Colin movie. Colin Farrell, I mean, not Colin Firth. Yeah, but right, Colin right. Firth won an Oscar for uh, The King's Speech, so, you know, <laughs> Oscar winner there. You weren't wrong. I, I loved the Banshee movie. Yeah, it was a, a dark comedy that was funny. Uh, Jenny the he deserved more credit. Yes, I, I think thought. so too. <laughs> and you need to keep the closed captioning on. I highly recommend it. it. it pretty thick Irish accent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was really, really good. There, we're seeing that. So, do you think we'll have any surprises? Uh, hopefully there are no slaps this year. That well, would be a well, nice Will's surprise. not invited for 10 years. Uh, I think, I think uh, for, like, best supporting actor, Ki Hui Kwan has it in the bag. That won't be a surprise at all for everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, Carrie Condon, I think, could surprise for supporting actress. Um, she Angela, was in what? She was in The Banshees of Inna Sharon. She played Colin Farrell's sister in that movie. Everyone had been talking about Angela Bassett, and now they're talking about Jamie Lee Curtis. I think if they were to win, those would be career best Oscars um, versus their actual performances, which were both great. But Carrie Condon might just sneak right up the middle there. What about some of the, the big commercials? Yeah, the box not. office at any say Avatar should win everything. Top Gun Maverick <laughs> and Avatar. And I think you're right. And you saw Top Gun Maverick. I, did. I loved, uh, it. loved it. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to win a lot of the tech awards. Uh, sound editing, as it should. It was a spectacular movie to see and to hear. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Cruise is not nominated. He is not. But you know, if it were to win Best Picture, he is a producer on that film, so he could win an Oscar for that if that were to win. Chances are not. I don't think so. Um, the Academy. But, Academy likes the everything everywhere all at once. Yeah. Kind of quirky little movies. I think so. But it's nice to have a, a Top Gun because everyone loved that movie. So hopefully that brings in a big audience. Yeah. Well so, done! Yeah, and I love Beef Wellington too, so <laughs> we can have that. It's not something, it's hard to make at home. It's something you order at a fancy restaurant. Yeah. Well, I'm not that fancy, apparently. <laughs> well, I'll make you one. All right, sometime. we'll be watching Sunday night, and Will Loper will be here, our official film critic, mm -hmm. with a rundown of the winners and losers and surprises, and hopefully no slaps. Thank you, Brady. That was great. <laughs> oh, we thanks appreciate for it. Me.